Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will be discussing about the discriminant and the nature of the roots. Okay, so basically this topic will discuss um, what is the nature of the roots, whether um, it is a real number or an imaginary number. Okay, and of course a discriminant which is very useful for finding the nature of the roots. Okay, so firstly, in, in, a, in any given quadratic formula, which is negative p plus minus the square root of p squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, this is the part that determines whether your roots exist or not. Okay, so basically po, um, roots po, ibig sabihin lang nun, is yun yung sagot sa x. Okay, so on this part, this one, dyan lang po natin na determine yung nature of the roots. Why po? Kasi this one is a real number and also a real number. But the square root will provide a different case whenever the number inside is negative or positive. So what do I mean by that? Kasi remember lang po, ang imaginary number is just simply the square root of negative 1. So kapag ka nagkaroon ka ng negative dito, automatic imaginary na. Okay? So meaning, the discriminant can only be found by using the b squared minus 4ac. Okay? And the discriminant, whatever its value, will have this following conditions, okay? If the discriminant is equal to 0, then you will have 1 real roots. If the discriminant is greater than 0, or sinasabi natin, ha, um, it's an element, natin, or the discriminant is an element of all positive integers, then you will have 2 real roots. And lastly, if the discriminant is less than 0, or we say that the discriminant is an element of any negative re, um, integer, okay? So, you will have an imaginary roots, okay? So, yun lang po. Taklo lang po yung cases natin for this one. Kung ikaw ay equal to 0, kung ikaw ay positive, and if you are negative or less than 0, okay po? So, let's have now any given... Um, quadratic equation. So, for example, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. Okay, equals 0. Now, the discriminant, the formula for the discriminant, which is, of course, um, b squared minus 4ac, this will only work if and only if your given is arranged in the standard form or the general form. Yeah. Or marami kasi tawag yun. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Yeah. Dapat isa lang on each. So, sabihin, kung dalawa yung 2, for example, ito. Kung dalawa yung constant mo, ilipat mo sa kabila. Okay? Para maging isa na lang. Okay po? So, this one, let's identify. Ano ba si A, B, and C? A is equals to 2. B is equals to 3. Ito yan. And C is equals to negative 7. So, we always take the sign po. Okay po? So, after you have identified, sorry, I erased that. After you have identified po yung inyong mga values ng A, B, and C, then ang gagawin natin is we just simply have to substitute sa ating D, which is equals to B squared minus 4AC. Ang ating B is 3 squared minus 4, ang A, and our C is negative 7. Okay? This one is 9 minus um, 4 times 2 times 7. Um, that's 8 times 7. The answer is 56. Okay. So, that's positive 56. Pag in natin yan, the answer is simply 65. Okay. Therefore, you um, since you take the relationship po of our of our D, which is, of course, it's positive, then if your D is greater than 0, of course, greater than 0, then you will have 2 real roots. So, I think so good natin. This one. Okay? So, we'll, let's have another example. Let's say we have x squared plus, um, say, 6x plus 9. Okay? So, our A is, of course, 1. Our B is 6. And our C is equals to 9. Ang D natin is what? 
b squared minus 4ac, okay? And 6 times, uh, 6 times 6 is 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 9 is 36 as well. The answer is 0. Then if your d is equal to 0, then we can say that you will have 1 real roots. So basically, ito yung sagot natin. Okay, so very easy lang yung ano yung ano yung determinants and the nature of the roots. You just have to determine any determinants, of course. I discriminant, I mean. Then of course you just have to um, determine yung relationship. And of course, patlo lang naman yung relationship, which is of course this one. Yeah. Okay, I do hope you got that topic. Thank you everyone for listening and salamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.